Oh, yeah. Okay, this, this is something you guys don't even know about. I'm sure nobody out there knows about this. And I've been meaning to call into the um, B Movie Cast podcast and tell them about this. And one day I will. Um, just things gotten pretty busy with me. Um, there was a show when I was a little kid in the mornings uh, every day before school. Well, there were a couple. There was Ray Rayner, and then there was uh, uh, Garfield Goose and Friends with the host Fraser Thomas. And it was basically just one guy and some puppets that he would talk to, and then he would show cartoons. Cartoons like The Funny Company and Max the Mouse. And, uh, uh, and he was the first one to do the Marshall Brodeen, the magic cards, or not the magic cards, the magic hands, I think. And it was just a magician showing you how to do tricks. And another thing he did was show, or that show actually showed, a serialized version of a movie that I didn't even know was a movie. I was so young. Um, and it was always like episode 35. Epis it, it seemed to never end because each episode was maybe three minutes in length. And then the beginning had a recap from the last three minutes. So maybe we're talking five minutes total for each chapter. But, you know, it's like, in the last episode, do you remember this and that? And the, the show, or the thing that they were showing was called Journey to the Beginning of Time. And when I was young, and when I was getting into movies like Ray Harry Hausen films, I thought this was a Ray Harry Hausen film, because the dinosaurs in it, the animation, was like Ray's animation. Little did I know that it was done by a man named Carl Zeman. Um, K-A-R-E-L-Z-E-M-A-N. And I'm trying to look here, I believe, I should have checked this before, I think he's Czechoslovakian. And um, when I got older and realized that Journey to the Beginning of Time was actually a full-length movie from Czechoslovakia, dubbed in English, and then re-edited a little bit, because when I was younger, I would go to the movie theater, and there was the full movie, and my friends were like, "This is we used to watch this on Family Classics, let's go see it, and we saw the full movie, and it was great, and for years we loved it. And never was on videotape, it never came out anywhere, until later in years. I don't believe it was ever on DVD, it was on videotape, because people used to dupe them. Um, and I had an old VHS copy. And uh, then in my older years, I found out that he did another movie, which was also shown by the same host, Fraser Thomas, but on another show called Family Classics, which was a Sunday afternoon show in Chicago, where he would host the show and he would show old movies like Boys Town or My Friend Flicka, Sink the Bismarck, um, that, um, that probably where I saw Mysterious Island and Journey to the Center of the Earth for the first times. And he started showing this movie called The Fabulous World of Jules Verne. And I was like, okay, and we watched this movie when we were younger, and it was such a unique viewing because it wasn't animated, it was it was live action, but it but the scenery, like the mat shots, was drawn, hand drawn, and they were done in a I forgot how they call it, like a wood carving look where an image would like move and it, and it give the, the impression of the water was moving, but it was really just like something like, like a lenticular thing where you would see one or another, and it would constantly do that and it gave the impression of water or engines or a balloon flying through the air or something. Anyway, it was a cool little science fiction story. And uh, anyway, my brother contacted me last year or the year before and he says hey do you know that journey to the beginning of time is on blu-ray i was like what what and did you know fabulous world of jules verne is on blu-ray like, what what and do you know baron von munchausen i says yeah the terry gilliam he goes no the same guy that made those two he made a baron munchausen movie what 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 and so he ordered it and uh i got myself a copy and it's called the best of carl zeman and here's the cover. It is a PAL from Czechoslovakia, I guess. Uh, but it's only you can only get this through his website, which is a museum that they made for him where he shows his props, his dinosaur armatures, just like Ray Harry Hausen. He was like the Ray Harry, he was the special effect genius back then. And these movies were done in 1958. Uh, Journey to the Beginning of Time was 1955, uh, 
and Munchausen was 61. And uh, I'm just going to hold the thing there so you can kind of see. Here's like the journey to beginning of time. There's Jojo, we used to know him as. And then here's from Fabulous World of Jules Verne. And then there's Baron Munchausen. And I can even kind of show you the back. The writing is all in foreign. But there you go. Look, I mean, they, they had huge... And then the odd drawings. And, and um, here is a shot of him actually working. How many pictures have you seen like that of Ray Harry Hawson, where he's he's there and he's animating his dinosaurs or his characters and, and look here's Carl Zeman doing basically the same thing and, uh, and the disc is, is there anything on the other side here? No. Uh, but if you go to www I'm going to spell it because museum is spelled differently. M-U-Z E-U-M-K-A-R-L-A-Z-E-M-A-N-A -A -A dot C-Z. You could see his museum. There's little videos on there and stuff. And then if you go into the shop, you'll be able to find the Blu-ray of this. These are the original versions. They don't have the English dub versions, which I grew up with. But... Um, it's still great to have them in crystal clarity and they have English subtitles so you can read along with them and um, they're great they're great if you've never heard of them journey to the beginning of time or the fabulous world of Jules Verne go on YouTube go on another search search for those and I'm, they're on YouTube I believe the full movies are maybe the English dub versions are out there uh, but just look at some of his animation. It's very Ray Harry Hawson like hmm. And I'm so glad that uh, that this was available and that my brother told me about it because it's... I haven't watched Munchausen yet. The Fabulous Baron Munchausen, it's called. Um, but uh, the other two, the main reason was Journey to the Beginning of Time, which isn't a great movie. It's like a beam dinosaur movie. Um, and the fabulous world of Jules Verne just because of the visuals and the crystal clarity of the picture really makes those special effects look fantastic. So go check those out and then look for the disc if you're interested. That's This is probably one of my most unique uh, collections in my collection, a unique discs, where not a lot of people know about it, but I have it and I'm happy.